also, uh, Zakari was kind enough to send you guys, the Good Kid Dad family, a welcome video to stream his new song, Reverse, that'll be out by the time that this video drops. Check it out on all the platforms. Check out all his platforms. We'll have all of those in the links below. And here is a warm welcome from Zakari himself. What's up, guys? This is Zakari. And you can check out my new single, Reverse, with James Fauntleroy on all platforms. And also check out Good Kid Dad's YouTube channel to watch the production reaction. Yeah, you're the one I know it now. I can see the black that you put in. Oh boy, it is our great to play, everybody. Welcome on into the channel. Yeah, mm. baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I had to add something into that. Baby. Dude, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little <clears throat> this morning. <clears throat> mm -hmm. My voice is a little scratchy. Uh, but mm -hmm. uh, we have a treat. We have a treat for you today. So, whether it's the first time you're here, you're joining us. Thank you for being here with us today. You're loved, appreciated, always welcome here in this channel. And you are enough. Okay. I also have a treat for you today, Lulu. I have a treat. You like treats? I like treats. You like Scooby Snacks? I like treats. <laughs> you like I like treats. Who would you do? I'll hey, tell you right now. Scoob, Scoob, would you do it for a Scooby Snack? Rabbery. <laughs> rah, rah. <laughs> um, rah. <clears throat> so, I got an interesting email. Uh, okay. And um, I was kind of surprised. And um, <clears throat> it was from Top Dog Entertainment. Top dog. Top dog. So the okay. yes, that top dog, featuring mm -hmm. Kendrick Lamar and SZA, who are like what all over the <laughs> like place. <laughs> what, <Right>? dude? <clears throat> so we got an email. Wait, are you talking? Are you talking about Kendrick Lemar? Y yes. No. Yes. Kendrick the, Lamar. The guy. Not Kendrick Lemar. That's 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 the Zabu. You remember the show Zabumafu? With the lemur was when yeah. we were when we were kids. Yeah. Not that. Yeah. Not the thing that's in there. No, no, he's he's a real so person. So, who are you talking about? Kendrick Lamar. Who you... And SZA. Oh, like what? <laughs> but he's also impressed right now. He's letting you know. Yeah, he's he <laughs> thinks he's got it. He's got stuff. Going. So, uh, so we we got an email, and um, they uh wanted us to do a reaction. They asked if we would be interested in doing a reaction for another one of their signed artists who's been featured on quite a bit of Kendrick's stuff, uh, whose name is Zakari, who I had actually already heard of and love, love, love his voice. And so uh, we, we reached back out. They were kind enough to send us the uh, music video in advance. So we're actually doing this before the music video drops. And oh, um, I'm super, super excited about it. Now, I want to say one thing. So we are, I, I want to be very good. We are not being paid for this. They are letting us say whatever we want. They reached out to us for two reasons. One, we are producers who do reactions. And <clears throat> two, um, it turns out that Zakari actually comes from a Filipino immigrant family. And um, so more reason, All right. more reason yeah. to to uh, show some love and support, especially from our Filipino family here on the Good Kid Dad channel. So uh, I'm really, really excited. And it, for those of you who are not aware, just recently they hit one billion streams on a single song, which is hey, I got something, I got something. Love <laughs> uh, with Kendrick Lamar. Um, Zakari also um, appeared, I think the first time he appeared in Kendrick's stuff was on the album Damn. Damn. Love or Lust. Um, and that was a Grammy award winning project. And that was uh, Love uh, was the one that made him like actually pop. Um, he's been on Billboard already. He's got hundreds of thousands of views on, Sp on Spotify right now. And uh, I'm I'm super super excited like to be doing something like this because we don't like we've been doing a lot of stuff um, with artists from here, but like to be talking to one of the groups from one of the bigger U.S. Um, recording labels is just really cool and and a lot of fun. It's just wild. So it's just I'm I'm super like, how super did excited. We get here. <laughs> Started you from know? the bottom. I was thinking more of uh, decode. By, yeah, uh, 
Paramore? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, man. But yes. How did we get here? It start, you know, you, you, everybody starts somewhere. You know what I mean? And um, I dude, for real. And I'm super excited. Now, <clears throat> what I do want to say about this. So this uh, new song is titled Reverse. Um, and it's with James uh, Funtelroy. Um, now, production on this, James Funtelroy, Zakari, J. Lewis, and Aaron. And uh, these are all some big names in the production world. And one of the things that I want to note, though, is when they pitched me this, when they pitched me this, they specifically said that they wanted that this one is wild in the production. Like, they, okay. they hyped it. They hyped it. So, okay. and, like, obviously they've seen the channel. They've seen the show. They, they know uh, at this point in time that, like, we are not always kind. Like, not that we're ever mean, but we, we're honest in our reactions. Right. So right. it's, uh, if they're going to go and say, like, it's wild. We'll see. <laughs> like, that's, that's a big, that's yeah. a big one. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm super, super, super excited to be getting into this one. All right. <clears throat> are you, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Dude, with the way that they're talking about it. it be like, this, be this better be good. Let me sit up in my producer you chair. You better, you better, you better, you better get seated, all right? You better have your Zoom stream going out in <laughs> stereo right now. Shoo, shoo, better not shoo. be in mono. You better not be in mono. I'm going to be pissed. Good evening, America. We interrupt your broadcast tonight to bring you important news. We're talking about a system that is rigged. And the problem is, the rigs aren't working. But we have found the most important rig of all. The new Neewer camera rig is something unlike anything you've ever seen. Instead of the system rigging you, you will rig the system. Please check out the brand new camera rig down below and see it for yourself. I assure you that you will not be disappointed. Thank you. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Here it is. Here it is, guys. Just when you, just just when you think you're good at something, you know, <laughs> like uh, uh, no, let's. I'm, I want to be honest. the The beginning of this, the way that it was, I was confused. Okay, so the composition so far, yeah, is very cool. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. It's very <sighs> like. The picture that that gave you for it was yeah. very, like exactly what that was. It, yeah, it almost yeah. sounded like, um, like something Tim Burtony for a moment. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, uh, <clears throat> who who's the, not t uh, the guy who does da not Danny Elfman? Does he? Is it Danny Elfman? I don't that know. That does Tim talking. Burton movies, or is it um? Ah, I forget his name. Anyway, it was very similar feeling. Yeah, to that, just like the creepiness and yeah. How, how Very wide dark. they made those vocals? Yeah, but dude, when the drop though, yeah, was not. Yeah. I was not expecting that. No, no, no. Also, um, we might have to have a little parental warning on this video. <laughs> Maybe there was there was some booty shots. There was a there yeah, was a well, there was oh yep some, that's that's a lot of booty. Some, that's a lot of booty. That's a lot of booty. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, is that sometimes there is booty. There is booty you know? sometimes. There is like, booty sometimes. It's just, it's just out yeah. there. So we can't, you know. We still, we still probably, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know the words of the song. I would have to imagine that this is probably like an explicit version. So we'll probably put a, we'll put a, we'll put a advisory 
back Warning. at the beginning at the end if we need to. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Did you I want- hear? Was that? Were those like dry footsteps in there too? And I couldn't. Is tell. that what that was? I couldn't tell. But let's go back. Hold on. Okay. I like it when you slow it down. Like it when. There's a ton going on back there. I don't know if there's footsteps, yes. but there was like there was laughing. There was just tape tape noise back there. There was all kinds of like little like pings and things like that. Like there was just yeah. it was just ambience for days. I would Dude. love to see this project file. Dude. I would love to see this project. I file. know. Yeah. You wanna you want I tell you what, you want some <laughs> more uh you want some more coverage. Let us do like a production breakdown I'm- of this. I'm sure that they have um, a guy that internal that does a lot of the mixing. Like, I, I don't know who mixes, but I'm sure he's done other stuff for this team before. Yeah. But could you imagine, like, sending this song to uh, a mixing engineer that, like, just doesn't know what he's getting? Oh, God. Like, just has no clue. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's just like, what? Yeah. Why? Okay. Yeah. How much did I say it was going to cost? All right. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's add a zero. Um, yeah, for real. <laughs> it's um, and I'm thinking about that project file too because all of these little parts they drop in and they drop out, right? Mm-hmm. So like it's yeah. literally just columns, just columns yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Man, dude, that that first part though is just the fire. Like, oh my yeah. god, it's just so hot. Who did that? Who came up with that? I like it when you slow it down. Like it when you speed it up and then out. Yeah, you're the one I know it now. I can see the black. The chorus vocal chops in there. It's like Dude. it's like a mixture between like just like this big R and B track and like a Charlie Puth. It reminds me of the um what's the is it into the fire? Um, no, it, which it's, uh, you know what I'm talking about though. That's just yeah. like all vocals, and it's just so good. Yeah. Warn myself that I shouldn't play. And then later yeah. on, those big choral vocals start coming in. Like, yeah. it's just like chops of that. It's just they like took got, all these things and just chopped it up. I gotta tell you, like production is going into a, a new direction. That that like it's kind of started in like about five or years ago or so but it's really coming in now where like where it's like this precision kind of thing where yeah. where before production was like always go by feel you know like there uh and still today you know you got bruno mars like his production is like very yeah. feel orientated and where where this is like it's like so yeah. uh meticulous feeling but here, you know what i mean here's the thing with a song like this we had a conversation at one point in time. You had put a Facebook post out at one point that ruffled a couple of feathers, and it was hilarious. Mm-hmm. And it was mm-hmm. talking about the difference between producers and beat makers. Yes. And nothing, nothing against beat makers, but there's a huge difference. Your average beat maker could not make this backing track. Period. No, absolutely. Because not. it's not just yeah. loop bait. Like it's like there's so much work that had to go into this. There's so much ear candy. There's so many just uh, attention to detail that had to Textures. go into this. Yeah, it's like yeah. you really gotta understand the production value. And like here we are, 38 seconds into this bad boy, and we've been talking about this for 10 minutes. And I think that that really goes yeah. to show. This they came out swinging. <laughs> like, yeah, they really did. This is nuts. This is nuts, uh, dude. And the vocal. Yeah, I told you. Like, I, he, so, he, there's a reason he's been featured on a lot of stuff, man. Like, his vocal. I had never good. heard. I. This is the first time hearing him for me, and like, it's a, it's like, it's like a lower, low, lower, smoother kind of like so far as what yeah. far the five seconds we've heard. Yeah. Um. <laughs> It's it's like a slower, not slower, uh, like a m- more middle uh, weekend, like yeah, you yeah, know yeah. the weekends. Yeah, he's Weep got that. Here. Yeah, he's got that really yeah. high kind of timbre to his voice. But yeah, there's a timbre to it, but it's still like not as high. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a little, it's a little. It smoother. has that. It has that rasp in it still. 
Ah, oh, man. Okay, okay. We're going to get past this. <laughs> I can see the fight that you put in Like it when you brown and like the color But the nasty things you do for a person Cause you're the one that jealous of And you ain't afraid of nothing but a bitch is not What you got, what you got, what you got, what you got Put your back to it Pussy so good I'm bending backwards for it this song <laughs> definitely gonna uh, be a parental guidance disclaimer on this song. Uh, I think <laughs> this is the so the most explicit thing we've done on this channel. I can't think. Was it was Jesse. No, 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 no. There was there was another. Do you remember that they they used to do the challenges where they would see what our reactions would be? They would yeah. try to see how bad they could make us blush. There was a dance group. Do you remember? There was like a dance group and I can't remember I can't remember what it was called. And basically they really don't even sing. They they're a dance group. And they were all <laughs> yeah. they were all basically dressed like this. Yeah. And uh yeah. yeah, that was pretty much. But even the con like the content of the song in this one, it's like it's it's interesting because it took me a minute to even realize what the words were because you're so caught in the melodies and the backing. Yes. And yes. like that's art. Like that's that's real art. I, and I talk about it on the channel a lot. Like there's some times where I'm not a huge fan of some of like the new age music because it takes no art and then puts a lot of the lyrics on top of it and it's just like okay, well, I'm not in for that. This right is like and and maybe there'll be also an unexplicit version of this as well, who knows? Like Obviously, his brand is very, very different. Kendrick's brand is very, very different. Says his brand is very, very different, right? Than a lot of the stuff that right. we watch and see in like K-pop and stuff like that. But this song is freaking hot, and it will play if there is a an unexplicit version, or if they have to just censor it. This song will right. will get radio play, one hundred percent. Yeah, This is this is Dude. hot. It's so and mm. like the way that it's spaced, like the spacing and the and the rest. So like. It, yeah, it's, uh, yes. My old band teacher said, <clears throat> always told me like it's not it's not the notes. It, it, it you w what you're playing is the rest. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like that's that's what creates the the space is what creates the yeah. the the act the vibe of the song. Yeah. And there's so much space in this. And like, there's every yeah. <laughs> every eight counts. There's a chord. Right. You know what I mean? Right. There's tension. There's builds there's huge releases and the vocals have to be so good because there is a lot of space so mm -hmm. that's why you don't see a lot of space though sometimes in songs is because you gotta have good enough vocals to fill it yeah you know yeah. like like if that's all that's there it better be good it better be good yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like man hey, you said you could sing right <laughs> <laughs> Where did the acoustic guitar come from all of a sudden? That was a left field thing that I wasn't seeing. Um, oh my god. It, <laughs> one one minor critique, <laughs> real quick though. If you're gonna yeah. have my man play the guitar for fake for fakesies, you better line up his damn hands right. <laughs> like, yeah. like, come on, line up the timing. Line Let's up get the some CG going. Yeah, line up the timing, man. Put somebody else's hands on it. AI can do some wild shit now. <laughs> well, maybe I think he's in slow motion right now. May I'll, okay, I'll maybe. let you know. I'll, maybe I'll let you know if he's playing the right chords or not. It also might but, be uh, it might be lagging a little bit too, because we're we're not playing this like we would play it from YouTube normally. We're playing this from right. a sent file. So, uh, right. but okay, I, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. It might be. It might be. <laughs> he. It looks. Okay, we'll see. Um, but <laughs> listen, can, can we rewind just a little bit yeah, and yeah, listen yeah. to his vocal yeah. and like uh, listen to the way that they morph his vocal into his, the. It's a different vocal, but it's like a different ver Like yeah, yeah, just listen to that real quick. It's it's so crazy and like I've been working on um uh on Penn's song today. <laughs> 
The amount oh, of, did you watch the? I did, and the <laughs> amount of people in the comment sections that are trying to guess who they are. People are reading into it so much because they're like, hey. "Oh my god, did he purposely?" It's like he literally threw three things out there. I, I remember in the thing you were like, "I, I chose. They, I had three things sitting on my desk. That's it, guys. Like <laughs> right. these are the, right. like." But people are like, "Oh, maybe it's a sign." <laughs> I, I told that's why I said the three things yeah, so I that know. they knew I wasn't like trying to yeah um yeah. but yeah uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm working on Penn song today and I'm there's some cool stuff happening but then I hear this and I'm like dude and it's not <laughs> Penn's fault it's mine <laughs> and like like dude I need to get in the room with these guys Mm. not to i don't want to help with anything i don't want my name on anything i just want to watch like i just want to watch yeah i mean maybe we can send you out there before you come here you can do a layover dude i'm i'll I'll be there if they if they send an email saying that i can come i will be dude maybe we'll ask i'm on a plane tomorrow maybe we'll ask to learn because we're trying to get you out here for for two weeks yeah probably end of october ish so um hopefully maybe we could maybe we could hook something up that would be sick maybe we can hook something up and you could do because we could i don't know if he's gonna be at the studio where they record this or where he's at right now he's probably out doing stuff for the song but um even if you could go in and maybe do like a tour we could also do more promotions of the song so yeah that'd be sick you know that'd be awesome you could do it from the studio that would be cool We'll see. We'll see what we can put see, together. Yeah. I want to see the project be file. In the room where it happens. Um, anyway, okay. Let's let's listen to this voice blending that you're talking about here. Like that part right there like yeah it's not they didn't like morph it they they have they definitely did layers but like that the ending the, the ending oh, part definitely and has the, something on it though uh i don't right. know if it's just detuned slightly um to give it kind of that like effect you know right like it sounded like it might have been detuned but it's just the layer like there's so much ambience in all those layers that they kind of just all morph together yeah, you know what I mean. It's a lot left over, just hanging over on them. Um, it reminds me of like a simple technique that like you don't even think about. Um, by watching a Charlie Puth production video, where um you purposely sing things in a different place, knowing that you're gonna transform it up or down like a fifth, to because yeah. you want it to be there, but you want it to have that feeling on it like you want it to have that right. effect because right. like you can't emulate like even if you were to sing that note you can't emulate the effect of what the detune has on the tones of the voice and now there's all kinds of right. things like that you can change the tone you can change the sibilance you can change like the width of the vocals and stuff like that yeah. that like yeah. um and terrace has all kinds of stuff out there now so like <clears throat> very very cool though this music video is also really cool and had to have been pretty expensive it's a lot of cg a lot of CG. So cool. You got a song like this. I dude. Mean. Dude, man. Ugh. Ugh. You know, here's the other thing. Hmm. Speaking of Penn. Because mm-hmm. I know who Penn is. Of course. Um, Penn's voice and Zakari's voice would do really, really well together. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> Their vibe is literally like the just same throwing it thing. Out there. Just throwing it out there. For anybody that's watching, if you guys watch this, I'm sure that you probably will. But, uh, you know, just saying. We'll Vote let you know who. Pen. Well, yeah, <laughs> we'll let you know who Penn is. I'll send you something over. But uh, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe. That'd be cool. It's <clears> two <throat> in the morning and I'm knocking at your door. Feel you on the other side, but you're not sure. Probably know I'm faded cause we done this before Probably know better not to open it up yeah. Both agreed the last time yeah. Would be the last time but I can't keep away 
you're all that I want right now Despite all the feelings we've hit in Just me Dude, in those open spaces, there's no There's very, there's snaps And yeah. a kick Like, how do you create that much it's like the movement doesn't die. Like the reason that you use hi hats, the reason that you use the snares and the things on the upbeats is to give the song movement. Right. And it's like right. the they're using strings instead, and the open spaces to like movement die, shoo, movement die, shoo, move. Like it's just. Right. I've never Dude. heard. I've never heard something like this before, ever. Me personally. No, I I don't think I have either. I gotta I gotta say, man, I'm digging the vibe. Like I'm just digging his vibe, and like and I don't want to compare him to. I don't want to say it again, yeah. and then I don't want to compare him to the weekend. Yeah. But like the weekend's early vibe was very like, it was much dirtier and much more raw. Yeah. Yeah. And and like, it might not be like the thing to say, but I liked his earlier stuff better, like the hills. And, yeah. And all all that like really dark kind of dirtier kind of stuff. Yeah. I just like the I, I like the attitude behind it because it, yeah. it and this this gives me that same feeling where like it's that attitude. Yeah. Where it it's um it's just the the overconfidence, and it feels yeah. good to listen to because you because as a person just in the world like you don't have that confidence every day all the time. Mm -hmm. But when you throw this a song like this on in the car, <laughs> yeah. you do for that three and a half minutes. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or two and a half minutes. Yeah. So, like, it, it feels good because you go out in the world and, and you something knocks you down. You put something like this on, you're like, nah. Dude. no. No, I'm. This gives me the vibe. This is, like, this is going on my Get Hype playlist. This is a song that I will yeah. listen to when I work out. Like, there's. Yeah, yeah, there's, dude. I can think of on my hand, like, on one hand, I can probably count songs that throughout history for me have stuck with me as like whenever I'm in a really bad place or I need to get hyped, like there is one song that I'll put on because for whatever reason, it just had something that just didn't feel like anything that I had heard before, but it just like, it goes so big in certain parts of the song. The one that I always come back to, and I remember this from like when I was like 14 years old, I think it's Faint by Linkin Park. The bad da da bad like that song like it's that same kind of like you didn't expect the strings you didn't expect it to go so hard it was a little far off from what they had been doing before it just like it was so big and yeah for me personally this is what this feels like like it brings me back to that that feeling of being like 13 sitting in front of the computer playing Diablo 3 and be like we're going to screw some dungeons up now <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> oh wow man dungeons hey hey i was a nerdy kid man that was my escape leave me alone i still played sports dude i you you just you, cuz you and you just gave like a really good hype song and then i realized like one of my hype songs is like not barely even a it's good not song. even a hype song or not a good song. it's not even a good like it's a decent song but it's not a good one okay what is it now you got to share with the class it, it's a, there's a song called bodies by tuvlo a book girl because if we're talking bodies, oh yeah 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 got yeah. a perfect and like for some reason that's like if song. i'm in a bad mood <laughs> like <laughs> that song that, that song just gets me dude i don't i don't know why but yeah. it's it's a hot it's a hot track in my mind yeah i feel you <laughs> i feel you man ah oh, well done well done all right god dang just me one more night. You know that i don't disappoint Give me one more try It's the only thing that's on my
rain stick was in there. You could hear the tsh- yeah. Tsh- you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh wow, man. And, and you know uh, dude, what's fun about wow. this song? So every wow. producer out there knows. Every producer out there has has a hard drive for projects. Yeah. And a hard drive full of samples, if not two, if not three. Yeah. And like. The be- the coolest part about being a producer and like going to different studios and stuff is bringing your hard drive full of your ammo. Yeah. And like in the, for this song, he definitely, he or the, whoever they are, he or she or whoever they are, definitely had their hard drive full of ammo and had a plan that day. Yeah. Like they were like, I am going in there and I'm using every piece of ammo in my arsenal yeah. to make the coolest sounding song. I so awesome man. You, I would listen to so much more big pop radio, and enjoy it if there was more stuff like this on it. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean. Because that's that the, my 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 issue is is like a lot of these great great artists, they get play, right? But it almost seems like it's become niche to have well produced music. Like if it's not bland. If it doesn't just follow that normal formula, it doesn't really get the credit I feel like it deserves a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. And like, you know, I, I think about it, and I'm not trying to, man, Rap Caviar is like one of the biggest Spotify rap playlists, right? And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, as producers, we go through and we do our research. So I constantly am listening to the big playlist because that's how you see what are people be listening to because what they're being fed. The radio doesn't matter nearly as much as it used to be radio stations now from yeah. like when we were kids it was you got on am fm radio you got if you're a rap artist you got on v1 107 by us if you were a pop artist you got a 991 or 1037 and i think they had a 1035 which was the chicago affiliate right like yeah. those were the places and if you're a country artist you got a 1061 so like that like that was your goal that's how you got out there today though it's about landing on the top 20 songs in one of the largest playlists on like Spotify, Apple or Amazon, right? Like that's that's yeah. the radio today. That's where you can tell what's trending because people don't consume music the way that they used to. They go on, they create their own playlist of what they want, but when they're looking for something new, they throw on these playlists that are promoted to them. And man, as I go and listen through both the big pop play- playlist and the the rap playlist, if I if I have out of 50 songs if there's five that make me stop and be like damn and right. replay it i'd be surprised I, it's like about 10 percent right now and it's not to say that the songs are bad it's just that there's nothing remarkable about them they're there's not, not damn right there's nothing different about them there's nothing that makes me stop it's it's like clickbaity thumbnails on videos on YouTube, right? There's a reason that clickbait works. You use really, really interesting and intriguing thumbnails to make people at least stop in a sea of all this other shit. You want them to stop and go, hold up, what was that? And there's very, very few songs that make me go, hold up, what was that? And what the craziest part about it is that the songs that give you that feeling don't usually end up in the in the Billboard that's, Top 100. That's that's my point. This is a damn. What was that? This is a dude. This is a this is a Fresh Prince damn. <laughs> <laughs> and and the best the best part about what I think that they've done in this song though is I still think that it strides that line enough where like. A lot of times you e- they're either made for radio or they're made to tell a story. And like the story is sometimes too long or it's too yeah. experimental like, to be uh, on Eminem's, the radio. Uh, Eminem's Yellow Brick Road. Yeah. Like definitely you know. just to tell the story. Yeah. Five and a half minute song. Yeah. And it's just like, it's just like, but this has straddled that line. It's two and a half minutes. Yet it told a complete story, which is really impressive to do in two and a half minutes. There was very, very, there was three very distinct parts of the song, which I like seeing. It didn't feel like it carried over the same thing over and over again. Like they did work on every single part to make it feel different. This would make me listen to more radio. Yeah. Songs like this. Yeah. And I, I really hope that there's more 
that there's more coming. Dude, this is... They did not disappoint. Dude, how much how much Kendrick do you listen to? Now hey, that since we're talking about his team. He's one of the few that I actually still do listen to. He, Dude, some of his production stuff is like... How did... What, why did but you... That's, but okay. that's why it doesn't make it anywhere. And he, you, you want to talk about a storyteller, though, right? Like, he is... But, he, I mean, he's he's one of the top-selling artists. Yeah. It's just a lot but of his stuff's not on the, on the radio. Correct. Or, you know. Correct. Yeah. It, it's because he's created his own following throughout the years that know and just search for him, right? Like, he's getting listened to right. in other places. Um, and so he doesn't matter. He's laughing all the way to the bank. But a lot of his stuff is very experimental. A lot of it is... Um, Again, very storytelling, right? Like the album, you have to listen to the entire album to really appreciate some of the songs on the album, right? Like if you right. don't, sometimes right. you miss pieces. And uh, again, we don't do that. I mean, albums themselves now are a dying breed, it feels like, right? Everything singles, yeah. everything singles, yeah. everything singles. And um, so, but again, he's built that legacy over what? 10, 12, I, I, I'm old, so it's probably even longer than that I mean, at this it's point in time. It's been a while. It, it's definitely you know? been a while. And, he, and he's had <sighs> some, like, he's had some pop hits. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, they're still hip-hop songs, but they're pop hits. Yeah. He's had a few, like, pop, like, yeah. in the in the sphere kind of kind of yeah. things. But then when you do a deep dive on, on, his, on his discography, you're like, yeah. whoa. And it's a big discography. Is... Like, he puts yeah. out records. <laughs> And uh, and yeah, man, I, I'm I'm super excited. You can Top Dog knows what they're doing. Um, I really like the place that they are right now um, yeah. because I, I and, and don't get me wrong. Like, obviously, you could say like, well, Sony and and Warner know what they're doing. It's like they know how to make money. And like, don't get me wrong. Right. Like, that's an important thing. But like, this is my flavor. Like, this is the stuff that I look forward, especially as like. I know that we're audiophiles and we're producers and so it's different but like again i want the shit that's gonna make me stop and go damn yeah and like if someone yeah, was playing it in a car wild. and you're walking down the street and you hear it and you're like, like what was that <laughs> shazam what, what, what was <laughs> that know? wow yeah. and we turned this two and a half minute video into a podcast so that says yeah, something that's about how do. much we how much we like this one. Uh, we're at 37 minutes right now for a two and a half minute video. <laughs> yeah, but it you know that's what? what we do it 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 deserved it, and um, I'm super excited. I'm really really excited about this, um, guys. Seriously, and this again, this is not paid. We are not getting anything back for this. Uh, this is true, 100 uh, percent us and. Um, check this song out i know that he already did the uh you guys saw the personal message from him but this is this is wild and the production on this is wild and i'm really excited to see this is one song right i'm i god i want to see what comes what comes next like what else what else are they yeah. doing on this um yeah this is one song yeah <laughs> yeah and seriously oh, he like, better. also if, if you guys are listening, Zakara, if you're listening, we got some. <laughs> yeah, like, well, we'll, yeah, we got some. We got we got some. I think that there could be some cool stuff. So, uh, man, I gotta say though, if if this is this song and the rest of the album is just, gotcha, yeah, <laughs> you'll be disappointed, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna be like, dude, come on, come on. I mean, that, that on. was the old formula, though, right? The old yeah, formula yeah. was you had one or two hits to make people buy yeah. the album and the rest of the b-side tracks were like eh. they weren't even normally they weren't even mixed and mastered nearly as good as the two hit songs because the money yeah. wasn't yeah, there dude, you put all your money like into in the 90s dude yeah. if you listen to b-sides in the 90s yeah. you're like what yeah. dude nobody Me and my homies nobody <laughs> turned over the tape in the car ever no, no, no nobody no, no. turned over the tape. <laughs> no one turned over those heavy ass records, dude. Said, <laughs> ah, I'll just leave it on this side. That's yeah, good stuff nobody it. turned it over, man. All right. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I'm I'm excited to be getting and diving into more. It's really, really awesome to see another uh, Filipino American uh, that has definitely made it and you know all of this helps especially from here all of this helps bring more 
recognition to um, Filipinos abroad and obviously that's something that we've been trying to do since we've been here and on this channel so I'm, I'm super super excited to see that I'm super excited to see more and uh, and hear more so what are your guys' thoughts please 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 leave them uh, in the comment section down below we do love to read those comments uh, feel free to drop some uh, comments down there for Zakari as well and uh, and yeah man this is this is cool this is some cool stuff yeah. I'm excited very cool we got uh, we got to give these fine fine folks a uh, thing uh, a, a boat a boat ooh boat because he had a boat because uh, he had a boat. Let's do. Let's do. Um, there was like an eclipse thing going on in the background. Did you see it with the moon? A moon. Yeah. So like maybe we could do okay. like a like a moon boat moon. Okay, boat moon. But don't moon people on your boat. Yeah. Well, if you're out, if you're on international waters, <laughs> <it's> fine. <laughs> All right. If you haven't already, like subscribe to the notification bell. Follow along with our journey. Live streams coming back at you guys soon. Uh, check out all of our music on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon. We have a ton of new projects coming to you guys. And, uh, yeah, if nobody told you that they love you today. Please don't forget that we love you. You're appreciated. Always welcome here in this channel, and you are enough. And last but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.